Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Kristen Light. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, guys. Scorpio, this is your February reading. Guys, if you're new, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're returning, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Guys, help the channel grow. I would appreciate it so much. If you want to donate, that's amazing as well. My PayPal's below. If you want a reading, I would love to do so. Email below. Guys, I got some new decks. I'm so excited. That's what the donations are for. I got the Hay House Power Thought cards. Not using them today. I'm not. Then I got the Divine Animal Oracles. And then, this is lovely, I got the Amenti Oracle. So I'm obsessed with cards. If you guys have been following me, you know that by now. Yeah, all my money goes into cards. <laughs> so guys, donations, please. So yeah, helps the channel grow, helps me get cards, you know, material, and make things nice for you guys. And we evolve like butterflies. So, Scorpio, you understand that language. And um, so, yeah. So, I'm not using those today because I started all the other signs like this with this setup and these cards. You know, I'm trying something new called discipline. <laughs> so, so far it's working. I get up, I have my schedule, you know, scheduling, discipline, taking care of m my body, my face. Um, I just saw this thing on YouTube turmeric face mask. I'm about to try that rice water face steam but i heard it like kind of lightens your skin and i'm not trying to do that so whatever that's an extra thing so scorpio when i was getting ready for your reading i heard voluntary sorry i just bit my tongue voluntary changes and loving it well why wouldn't you scorpio you're all about transformation here goes scorpio transforming again and then I heard this lady outside. I don't know what was going on. I don't think she was talking to anybody. I think she's just like really stressed and anxious about her life. Like most people are right now. Duly, you know, rightfully so. And she's just like, you know, when you drop something or something happens and it's just like the last thing. And you're like, damn. You know, she was just like that. And it was funny because I thought I was like, what would Scorpio say to her right now? Scorpio would be like, What's wrong, honey? Tell me everything. So you might have somebody in your life freaking out and you're actually doing that. You know, you're like, calm down. What's wrong? Tell me everything, you know? So I heard that clearly. Another thing, Scorpio, in your third house, we have Pluto, your ruler. So third house, Pluto, your ruler. Fourth house, um, Jup uh, Jupiter. Well, v Venus is still there in your third house right well, this is february guys but there's you know since we're still at the end of january i'm gonna kind of like dip into january like still talk about january by the way this is just an astrological overview real quick i'm gonna make it short so venus and pluto are in your third house of capricorn so i feel like you guys are wrapping up a study a program of some sort you're graduating you're finishing up a project maybe you guys finished your book maybe you guys um, finished your seminar your webinar a program of some sort uh, maybe you taking the program or you creating a program like a e-schooling program kind of thing um, feel that strongly there's a project you're wrapping up it's the finish of it it's the, it, I'm hearing finish line right um, also in your fourth house, we have Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury in shadow, Mercury going on retrograde on the 30th. We also have the sun and we're going to get the moon on the 13th of February. And Venus is coming, like I said, um, in Aqu this is all in Aquarius. That's your fourth house. Venus is coming to join them. So we'll have a stellium, six planets in Aquarius, your fourth house. So my guess is that a lot of you are moving. You are physically moving, changing homes. It's that time. You've been waiting on this home. You've been waiting on the answer. Um, there was a long waiting list. You made it. Some of you are literally moving countries, maybe because you just got that offer, a book deal, or a new job. Because in your 10th house, <clears throat> excuse me, Wait a minute, what is Uranus? Uranus is your seventh, first of all. We have uh, Taurus, sorry, is your seventh. We have Uranus there and Mars, which is also your ruler. So seventh house relationships, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, some of you are definitely getting a job offer or a contract that requires you moving, 
house at least or even in a bigger scale moving states country or maybe continent for some of you okay so that's happening so it's a new start for you like i said you're making voluntary changes and you're loving it you're transforming again do you love that anyway you go voluntarily into the shadow you're like okay it's time for change let's go and you, you're excited about it so if that's the energy i'm feeling with you guys um also in like i was saying your 10th house of leo we are going to have the full moon on the 28th of january leo your passion your which is leo the fifth house but it's for you it's the 10th so it's like you're putting passion into your career you're very excited about this new start in your career or this new contract or this new endeavor that has you know that you're ready for you're excited about it's a full moon it's culminations like i said you guys are wrapping up somebody something wrapping up somebody maybe you're seducing somebody maybe somebody really really likes you either platonically or in a romantic way you're wrapping them around your finger i'm hearing that's interesting well you do that you're very charming very persuasive scorpio very enticing very like you know snake charmer kind of energy i'm hearing so anyway let's get into it <clears throat> scorpio please spirit february scorpio february scorpio Wow, that channeling was really i was talking fast i must try to talk slower that's another thing i'm trying to, i'm trying to talk slow bear with me i mean i have my mars my jupiter and my venus in gemini and it's my 12th house so that's why i tend to talk fast and i get really passionate when i'm talking but i'm gonna try to my mom's like yeah you talk too fast she watches my videos i'm like mom what do you want me to do but i'm gonna try to slow down okay because i know some people um put the subtitles on so okay let's see spirit what do we have for scorpio ready to go i'm hearing scorpio is ready to go packing packing luggage a fiery climax climax approaches full moon in aries yes that's that combination i was talking about the finish it's finish this is the end of the cycle full moon in aries which is fire just like the full moon in leo coming up you know and aries is ruled by mars which you are all as well you're ruled by mars and you are also ruled by pluto mars is your ancient ruler so yeah you are excited you're fired up why is this a fiery climax it's a fire fiery climax but it's fiery because it's exciting like i said you guys are initiating this change and you are loving it you're excited about it because you are the one you know prompting it right okay let's see what else spirit from the animal oracle for scorpio february scorpio february spirit Scorpio February. Okay. Scorpio February spirit. What do you have for Scorpio? Oh, yeah, I wanted to take this one too, but the car just shriveled and it's like I was hesitating. Spirit's like, no, just this one. 
slow and steady wins the race. So yeah, you're definitely excited. Scorpio spirit is saying that's great energy to have, to be excited, determined, fired up. Uh, but um, take your time, Scorpio. Don't overlook certain things. This is, I feel, what this card is advising you. It's turtle spirit. Because remember, Mercury retrograde. But I feel like it's okay for you guys. You don't have to be, you know. First of all, I feel like you know what you're doing. You do. Um, but you're never too careful, I'm hearing. Because, you know, usually we say Mercury retrograde, don't start anything, don't do a contract, don't sign contracts, don't plan on traveling, you know, travel plans and blah, blah, blah. But I feel like for you guys, this is something that you've already initiated, you know, months ago, if not years ago. So, but you're never too careful right we don't know everything so uh, this is just a caution to kind of like maybe take time to rest maybe your physical body maybe not so much of um having to look at something um or the detail of something maybe this slow and steady wins the race is about you nurturing yourself making sure you don't burn out it is a turtle it's water energy could be Pisces, Pisces, Cancers, or even you, Scorpio. You are a water sign, although you're not, you're pretty much on the shore. So maybe make sure you kind of like take baths, you know, dip into that water. You know, manage your emotions, manage your body, manage your, like reju rejuvenate, regenerate. Make sure you drink a lot of water, I'm hearing, Scorpio, okay? That's what this is about. It's more about your body. Take slow your body down slow slow your make sure your energy is like re you're rested that you take time to rest i feel like that's what spirit is saying because you need all your energy for this fiery climax coming up all right now let's get into tarot yeah because you're gonna be very very busy i feel scorpio very very busy You might be able to handle it, but then at a certain point, you might just burn out, right? Your body just might be like, okay, shut down. Maybe that's what spirit is advising you to make sure you recharge so that that's, that doesn't happen, right? Okay. All right, spirit, what do you have for Scorpio, please? February Scorpio. When I was pre-shuffling, I saw the death card and the emperor, which is your energy, death card, and emperor, Aries, Mars. Funny, we have the new moon, in, uh, the full moon in Aries here. Okay, spirit, what else do we have for Scorpio in February? Scorpio. Some of you, it's a divorce. This came reversed. Two of Cups, Six of Swords, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Bird, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe it's a divorce. It's a it's a contract that's ending. Whether it's a love contract marriage although it's not the lovers so it could be just a work contract a collaboration is over and I feel like it's bittersweet it's bittersweet I don't feel like there's resentment it's a let's agree to disagree this is not working anymore and just separate let's go our separate ways I'm hearing yeah let's get some more what else, spirit? Spirit. So maybe the, the advice here, since I have the fiery climax, climax, and the slow and steady wins the race, you want to make sure that it does go smoothly. Whatever this contract dissolution is about, all right? It's up to you. Maybe that was the advice for this uh, full moon. 
in Aries, um, and the slow and steady wins the race energy. Again, slow and steady wins the race, King of Pentacles energy. That's exactly what this is about. So take your time. You're going on this new journey. Do not rush, Scorpio, I'm hearing. Don't rush. Make sure it's very important that you take your time. You know, you might think something is great, but maybe there's even better if you just waited a little bit, you know? Weigh your options. Don't accept the first, you know, offer. Maybe there's something better. See? Don't accept the first offer. Maybe there's something better. Four of Cups. Exactly. So many offers coming in. Two of Pentacles. Again, take your time. Don't take more than you can handle. Scorpio. Also, this could be don't take, don't make a decision hastily. Take the time to ponder, to weigh the pros and the cons. Okay. I mean, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, sorry, Two of Pentacles, Turtle Spirit. Everything is pointing to like, take your time. Because I feel like right now is the time to really rest and take your time because things are going to go really crazy. Seven of Wands. You're going to need to stand up for what you believe. Stand up for what is right for you, what is fair and equal. Six of Pentacles. Maybe this relationship, it, maybe this job you're leaving was not fair and, um, you know, appreciated, appreciated of you. And that's why you were like, hold on. Um, no, I have to go. This was upright, sorry. And maybe that's why you're like, um, no, I have to go now. Um, it doesn't work anymore. I have to stand up for myself. This has been going long, uh, on a long time. It's time I move on to something else here. You know, I got to do what's right for me. I got to stand up for what I want and believe in. My desires, my wants, my needs, my ideas, my vision. And then, this is the cycle that's ending. A cycle that was unfair. A cycle that was not paying you what you deserved, giving you the respect you deserved, the acknowledgement, right? Three of Pentacles kind of energy. And maybe that's the shift. That's what, that's the shift. That's the transformation that you are initiating. And you're like, no, it's time for a new journey. It's time to go see what's out there. Um, I have to go for my dreams. I'm ready to put in the work. I'm ready to go wherever I have to go to make this happen. And I don't care if I have to relocate, right? The knight, he's a traveler. So definitely take your time. You're gonna get there with this kind of energy don't worry, you're going to get there, Scorpio. And I, I'm confident you're going to get there. Scorpios are very powerful. Scorpios are very wise. Scorpios are very intuitive. There's just something about Scorpios that's extra, you know? Make sure, like I said, don't rush. Look at all the options, pros and cons. You know, you're going to get a lot of offers. So make sure you let the offers come in and then analyze anyways like again you're really good at investigating and like really looking at things from all angles so make sure you rest make sure you recharge as well you don't have to rush you don't have to rush so this transformation that you are initiating 
you are doing it in a very mature, wise way, or at least that's the advice. And if you do that, everything is going to be okay. Just do anything in your power not to get into this um, fiery, too extra energy. Or in ego as well. Remember, it's full moon in Aries. All right. And even something that might seem like it's not your usual thing, something you would usually do, don't knock it out. Don't knock it off. Don't, don't, um, don't just refuse it. You never know. You never know, Scorpio. Okay? When I say look at all options, I mean all options. Even the craziest things that you might think, okay, this is not my norm. You know, maybe it is now. Maybe it is exactly what you need on this new journey because you have definitely transformed. So just let it sink in. That's what I want to say to you, Scorpio, okay? So now let's get a Keepers of the Light. And then we'll get a Goddess Oracle. Spirit, what do I have for Scorpio? Scorpio, February. Very powerful reading here. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio? Making big moves, big moves. So I wonder for Scorpio, please. of the light it's gonna give us like a master teacher kind of see they have to say to you. you have Mahavatar Babaji soul expansion like I said your consciousness is, is expanding you understand the connection between all things they just described you Scorpio You're doing what you do best. You're initiating this transformation and you are just loving the ride, basically. Amazing. That's beautiful, Scorpio. Yeah, yeah, I do get some kind of like picture pauses because I'm doing my thumbnails while I'm showing you guys the cards. Okay. Sometimes when you're doing video and you want to screenshot sh like the perfect, you know, thumbnail, never gets it right. So I kind of pause like I'm taking a photo so that I get the right thumbnail. It gets blurry because if you move too fast, you can't get the right screenshot. Soul expansion for sure, yet again, Scorpio, yet again. Like I was saying in the beginning. You're ready, you're prepared. Obviously, because you initiated it. Alright, what else, Spirit? This is the goddess guidance. Spirit Scorpio, February. I knew this was going to come out. Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. 
love yourself, others, and every situation. No matter what the outward exper experiences may be. Love yourself, others, and every situation. No matter what the outward appearances may be. This is being ready. This is being prepared. This is knowing what's up. This is Scorpio. Scorpio, your energy is all over this reading. You are perfectly aligned. You're doing what you do best. You're doing what you do best. You're obviously excited. The only, you know, kind of little minor thing that's kind of like an, a warning or an advice, it's not even that major. It's for you to make sure that you take time for yourself though, that you nurture yourself, you deserve it. Take breaks, take uh, spa appointments, nail appointments, or if you do it at home, do it at home. You know, take time to, to be with you, to give this unconditional love to yourself. All right, so beautiful. Love yourself, others in every situation, but you first. You first, okay, Scorpio? All right, like I said in the beginning, you have a lot of people maybe around you that are freaking out. Maybe these uh, these lo lovely people that you're leaving behind because you're moving, two of cups right here. You know, your friends are freaking out because you were their rock, you know, your parents, your family. These are people, your soul family, right? They could be literal family. And they're freaking out because you're, you know, you're their rock and so you're like trying to calm them down for some of you and reassure them so um, that's great and lovely that's lovely but uh, make sure you have time for yourself as well all right Scorpio okay I love you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe guys and I'll see you in my next video bye